Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you again. Uh, I'm going to spend a little more time going over the Diana Bandit. Uh, I've been playing with it a little bit, reading the instructions, and I'm going to cover a couple things like filling with the fill adapter. Talk about uh, the fact that you can do single shot because it's got a magnetic adapter for just doing single shot should you choose to go that route or should you choose to load the magazine and I'm doing this while I'm looking through the viewfinder and it's not going so smooth uh, but it's in there and uh, I'll show you how you load that and uh, see how the next set of videos come along See you in a minute. Back again, this is probably the sheet that folks would be most interested in. Technical data. And it uh, says not to fill it above uh, uh, 200 bar, 20 MPA. And it's a uh, 50 cc, 50 cubic centimeter fill tube. So, uh, that's not a lot of air. Uh, and if you look at where things are at right now, you can see that it's pretty empty. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to fill. Well, I'm pretty confident it's going to be a very, very quick fill. But when I say easy in terms of how I'm going to do this, I'm probably going to stand the bandit up and uh, based on the diagram it shows to insert from the bottom. So I'd probably insert there. Uh, obviously I'm not going to do that until it's connected. Um, because I want to be able to see the gauge, the fill gauge, uh, as I'm filling it. So it'll probably be out of frame as I do that. I'll probably do something like this where it's on the bench, it's connected, and my hand is on the uh, fill valve for the large tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that an attempt real time. Hopefully the pieces fit together nicely. Okay, so that's encouraging. That uh, that fit together well, and I'm kind of not taking any chances. Want to make sure that uh, it's in there and is not coming out. I'm going to try and attach this now to the bottom of the bandit and see what happens with uh, with air pressure. Okay, so that that went in, which is not unsurprising. So I've got that all the way up. It's in there to the base, flush here. And I'm not going to, I've got the bleed opened and closed, so there's no air in the system. And I'm now going to try and get this um, to within the green, as close to the red as possible. Not sure how quickly this is going to fill. Little concerned because the size of the tank, when you think about it, it's a big tank and uh, doesn't have a very granular on off. I'm going really slow on the uh, to avoid any kind of whip. I'm going incredibly slow on opening the tank. Really, really, really slow. Nervously slow. There we go.
good enough. So with that, I've just closed the tank, uh, bleed the air valve. There we go. I'll see how easy this disconnects. Oh, that just slides in and out nice and easy. I'll kind of get this out of the way a little. This is warm to the touch, very warm to the touch, not hot. And I'm sure the first question folks are going to ask, so this is probably at a 17 bar fill. So I would say, uh, you know, 85% full. What does it sound like? And when I first got it, it was probably at uh, 10 to 15 bar, I can't remember. And it sounds like a BB gun, an air gun uh, with a couple extra pumps. So I don't know how well this is going to pick up on sound. I'll take the mic off and put it closer to the, uh, the barrel, but uh, this is what it sounds like. Let me take it off. Safe. And that's a little rough. This needs to be oiled. It doesn't, uh, it's doable, but again, $180 gun. Alrighty, here we go. So not uh, incredibly loud. One more time, and this time I'll put the microphone, hang on a second, very close to the edge of the barrel. So it's not that loud, probably call it uh, BB gun loud, and if you look at and i don't know what the air efficiency is when there's nothing being shot but if you look at that you know we're down to right at 15 15 bar and we've taken three shots so i'm anticipating again it's 50 cc so at that small of a chamber i'm anticipating this is a one two three four five six Seven ish, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven, seven rounds at uh, 22. And we'll load this up uh, so I can show you how to load that. And it looks like this, when it is loaded without any pellets in this, it will seat in here, but you, it won't let you to, it won't let you close the bolt, it'll let you cock it, but it won't let you close the bolt. And obviously, I think that's because without pellets in here, it's hitting this uh, this blank right there. So next video will be on uh, pellets. Go with loading this, uh, this little round magazine. Forgot to mention, when you do um, fill the tube, you have to have the gun cocked. And there it's ready to fill. It cleans off the desk from dust and I'll put that on safe just so there's no uh, no confusion so this is an interesting little device I would probably order some extras I'm glad with this single shot sled you can go to single shot mode and there's a piece of uh, looks like a magnet to adhere to this other side so it doesn't just slide out but it's nice that it can do single shot and isn't dependent just on this because I can see this getting broken it's, uh, I wouldn't call it flimsy, but when you see the design and how you have to load, um, you turn it upside down with this, I guess, ledge uh, off to your, to your side, and then you proceed to open the magazine so that you see your first, there's that blank that was on this side. You open it to the first spot, grab a pellet, and obviously, since this is the shooting side, that's it would. And there is a pellet that is loaded. So this could go into the magazine, excuse me, into um, the pistol. And it's in that first slot. So therefore, the bolt would go forward and it would load that particular pellet. And it doesn't look like... They come out easy, so I would say that 
unloading this would be the equivalent of just popping the pellet out from the particular position that the pellet's in. So that is a process that's not necessarily fun because you've got big fingers, as I do, and all you're doing is repeating that process over the seven rounds. Or if you have it in 22, I believe it's, I want to say nine. The nice thing is it stays, doesn't stay in the open position, but once you put a pellet in, it doesn't snap all the way back to the beginning. And I guess if you put a pellet in the wrong way, it's no big deal because at some point you can unload it when you move that little piece of plastic that you can see. So the irritating part is, um, one more. The irritating part is moving this clear piece of plastic that does not feel flimsy, but uh, I can see that that's something that's, whoops. Okay, so I have no idea what just happened there. And it looks like I'm losing all kinds of pellets now. Actually, it looks like the way to load it is, <laughs> easier way to load it is just to put this in like that. And it looks like you just snap it back in. And since that one was ready to go, looks like it's, there we go. Sorry for not getting that on film. I'm trying to trying to look and do it at the same time. So that looks like a fully loaded magazine. Obviously I'm indoors, so I'm not gonna load it up and shoot. But uh, that's it for now. And I'll let you know how the first range trip goes in the near future, bringing the tank and uh, shooting it both with a magazine, excuse me, as well as in single shot mode. And I uh, already got a recommendation to go with lighter. So uh, this was 17.9 grain. I think the other monster pellets were 23-ish, almost 24 grains. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Talk to you in a few.